Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. I'm super excited to share with you guys today's recipe because it is such an amazing one. Now this recipe is a high growth spray that will help you reduce hair loss, minimize breakage, and essentially help a lot with hair growth. Now it has been tried and tested because I do have a friend who was complaining that every time that she would comb her hair, she would lose so much hair. And I gave her the recipe guys and trust me, her results were super, super amazing. And I just thought I'll share with you. So if you're interested, definitely be sure to keep on watching and watch till the end so you get to see all of the um, steps and also ingredients. Now to begin with, we are going to need some moringa leaves. Um, I got this on Amazon, but if you don't have moringa leaves, it's okay to use moringa tea or moringa powder. Now moringa contains vitamin A and B, which help to promote hair growth. It also contains iron, which prevents hair loss, zinc, which also helps to promote healthy hair follicles, essential amino acids, which helps to nourish our strands and vitamin C and E which helps to fight ox oxidative stress so it's super good for our hair. Now I'm going next with some black tea. Um, this is just your regular um, black tea. Uh, for this I'm using two tea bags. Now black tea also is super beneficial for hair growth because it helps to increase hair growth in general. It also helps to thicken your hair and it boosts growth in areas that perhaps you happen to have lost hair. So it's also really good to have in your regimen. So after I put those two together, I just added some hot water. Now I'm gonna allow this to sit around and infuse for a few hours. Now if you're pressed for time, it's okay to use once it has completely cooled down, but I'll suggest that you infuse for a few hours just so you can get the moringa to really release all of its goodness now in the meantime we're going to go ahead and make some aloe vera gel now for this i'm using fresh aloe vera leaf it's quite easy to find aloe vera here now if you live in an area or a country where it's difficult to find aloe vera it's okay to use the one that's already available in the store i think you can get one from costco um, it says on it 100% aloe vera gel. I have personally never used it, um, but certainly you can you can try that as well. Now, if you're using fresh aloe vera, just like I'm doing here, you just want to just go ahead, give your aloe vera a good wash just to remove some impurities. You can also soak this if you want to. I've used aloe vera for so long that... Even when I use it without soaking it, it doesn't cause any problem, like it doesn't eat you or anything. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut my aloe vera and then use a spoon to just scrape the flesh of the aloe vera out. And that's essentially what I'm going to be um, getting the gel from. Okay guys, so here is my aloe vera nice and ready. So I'm just going to go ahead and give this a really good blend using a hand blender so I can extract the gel from it essentially. So after you blended it, you just want to go ahead and sieve using a wig cap. Now just bear in mind that the longer you blend this, the more liquid um, sort of consistency you're going to get to your aloe vera so it's not going to be more like a gel it's going to be more like a liquid so do not blend it for too long so essentially yeah you just want to go ahead and sieve using whatever you got and then that's it that's your aloe vera gel nice and made really fresh and ready to use So here is our aloe vera gel, nice and ready. At the moment, it does look foamy just because we have just made it. Now, if you allow it to sit around for a little bit, just like I'm going to show you later on, you will see that it is perfectly normal. So it doesn't have to foam anymore. So my Moringa and tea um, infusion has definitely infused really well. So we're kind of ready to go ahead and use it. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, 
save this directly into the same bowl in which I have my aloe vera gel essentially and that's it it is just as simple as this is guys like really simple to make but super super effective so after you sieve that in there all you want to do is combine so use a spoon to stir until everything is nice and combined and then you pop it into a spray bottle and then you're ready to use now stick with me because i'm going to show you how you can use it and also how often you should be using this um, to um, benefit from it essentially guys so we're gonna go ahead and apply this to our hair um, so my hair at the moment is in these braids um, just because we are doing a hair growth challenge now shout out to you if you are taking part in the challenge let me know in the comment section down below how that's going for you so far are you loving it or are you having any challenges just let me know how you're getting on so far I am loving it the only thing is the smell I just don't like the way that my hair smells essentially so I'm having to wash my hair um, a little bit more often than I normally intended to just because yeah I just don't like the smell but apart from that generally I do like it because I feel like it makes my hair very moisturized and really strong I can already see some growth coming through and it's only been a few weeks so I'm super excited to actually see what the six weeks will do with that hair growth spray so yeah let me know in the comment section down below if you are a challenge member now you would use this spray the same way in which you can use any other hair growth spray essentially so whether your hair is in braids cornrows or or twists or i don't know or whatever uh, uh, state your hair is in you can certainly go ahead and use it exactly the same way now you just want to go ahead and spray this to your roots um, making sure that your hair is properly saturated with this guys now if you have braids on just like I do or twists that your ends are exposed obviously also spray to your ends your ends are super important because it's the driest and also the oldest part of your hair and if you're experiencing breakage you are definitely experiencing breakage from there that's where it is going to break from um, so essentially you just want to make sure that you do take care of your ends if you moisturize your hair and you always forget your ends you will most definitely experience breakage okay guys so it's super important that you do take care of them now when we talk about hair fall hair fall is slightly different okay guys our hair naturally sheds every single day um, but obviously hair fall is when your hair is shedding at a slightly excessive rate or, or sort of abnormal rate okay there could be many reasons for that if you're experiencing a lot of stress or if you have hormone imbalance or perhaps you are going through some type of illnesses that can cause you to lose your hair that those could be the reasons why your hair is falling out so it's always better to seek help from a doctor um, just because you may not necessarily benefit from a DIY like this essentially because the problem is not external but it's more internal so it's always better that you you check with your doctor but if you're generally well and every time that you comb your hair you can just see so much hair falling out it's probably something that you're not doing right so that's why this spray is super super useful so you just want to go ahead and use it in this way always remember to follow with an oil just so you can seal the moisture in your hair now it could be a butter as well um, so anything that you can use as a sealant would be definitely uh, needed so this oil is one of my DIY oils I have a video for you guys so don't worry you will get to see it um, and again you just want to go ahead and apply this to your roots and also your ends massaging as you go along now frequency is also super important because if you moisturize your hair once every two weeks it's, it's not going to last long, like the moisture in it is not going to last long. Now our hair type is naturally dry, you know, because we don't get enough sebum that travels down our hair strands, like let's say like Caucasians for example. So that's why we need a little bit more effort into sort of moisturizing. So I suggest you do use this 
twice a week or maybe three times a week if you feel the need to um, and essentially that's it and I promise you guys if you do this regularly until your wash day you will definitely notice that your hair is not falling out as much as it used to so this is it for me today thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed the video if you did guys don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already and I'll catch you in my next one bye